Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. If you want to catch my latest Memes of the Week videos, then subscribe over at MGTOW TV. Link is in the description. I'll also get to the memes in a moment. But first, let me tell everyone about today's sponsor, the MGTOW Book Collection Part 2. Whether you're getting camel toe in Cambodia, banging babes and burkas in Turkey, or taking Polaroids of ladyboys in Thailand, Luca Vendetti has a series of books to make you live the dream. His new three booklet series includes How to Live on $500 a Month in Cambodia, Turkey, and Vietnam, in addition to his classic How to Retire on 200 k in Southeast Asia. He also has the MGTOW book. Visit MGTOWbooks.com and use the promo code SANDMAN to get 10% off. Now available in four formats, PDF, Mobi for Kindle, EPUB, and text-to-speech MP3. Sponsor link is down below. Now on with the memes. Number one, we have a video called Twerk Battle. I still can't believe that this is a real game. You get to hit the wall as a woman, but unlike in real life, you can go right through it. I'm surprised people aren't complaining that it's appropriating African-American culture or something. That they're the only ones that have a license for Baby Got Back. Then again, I wonder if Miley Cyrus had something to do with this game. Up next, we have a woman that left her boyfriend while he was in the middle of his cancer battle because it was ruining her health. But don't fear because all's well, because she's running a marathon in his honor. Leaving him when she did may have just cost him his life. But the cancer has gone into remission, and I hope that Danielle, the woman running the marathon, no longer has panic attacks. What a world. If you're still thinking of dating and having relationships, don't. On the flip side, here's an Australian man that moved to London to support his long-distance girlfriend. Days after she was diagnosed with cancer, despite knowing her for only a few months. Number three, it looks like it's getting desperate out there. Especially as this woman fakes her own kidnapping and says that they would let her go if they paid for her page. Looks to me like she even roughed herself up with a couple of black eyes and some scratch marks on her right shoulder. And her left one looks all red. She probably just used fake up to get some of those simp bucks. Next up, we have Hugh Hefner telling everyone that several girlfriends are easier to handle rather than just one wife. I say that having zero girlfriends is easiest of all to handle. But of course girlfriends are easier, because they can't take half your stuff. Plus, half could cut off each girl at a moment's notice, so that keeps them on their best behavior. Number five, the most popular one this week, shows us that hot chick from high school that's finally ready to give you a chance, but only once she's gained 50 plus pounds. If she won't give herself to you at her best, then don't touch her triple-sized breasts. But at least she's grown as a person since she rejected you. Literally. To be honest, she doesn't look like she was that hot to begin with. Moving on, this woman was hot, and it makes me wonder what happened. She probably got married and consumed lots of alcohol treats and found drinks. Or was it Krispy Kreme and seed oils? I'll let you be the judge. Up next, just in time to save these women is today's beauty standard, where a man has to be six feet tall with a six-figure income, be six inches long at least, and have a six-pack. Yet all a woman has to do is say, take me as I am. It speaks more about how men have let their standards fall when it comes to dealing with women that have now let themselves go. If fat women weren't getting any action, then they wouldn't be so fat so they could get some. Number eight, we have a woman saying that if you can't trust a woman enough with your assets, then why is she your wife in the first place? Referring to the Akram Hakimi situation. But in reality, he can't trust women with his assets, i.e. his mother. Just not his wife because she's not his blood. The woman from OMG Voice just wants attention, and is probably pissed off that she can't get as much as Akram. As soon as rich women start marrying broke, unattractive men, I'll trust women with my assets. Moving on, we have the Bud Light plan to feature Blair White on beer cans to stop conservatives from boycotting their beers. If Alex Jones has a crush on her, then you can sure bet that Alana Tradcucks will as well, even though she was born a male. Number 10, we have another once great male media empire about to crash and burn. Rest in Peace Max Magazine, as now plus-size model Ashley Graham graces the cover and is declared world's sexiest woman. But seriously, I haven't looked at this magazine seriously since the early 2000s. Ashley used to be hot and now she's not. I don't think she's the world's sexiest. Maybe the street sexiest. Up next, we have another video post that shows us that Canada's over. Here are some male politicians in Kanukistan wearing heels to combat domestic abuse. How about instead of this, enact tougher policies on criminals? There are tons of investment scam companies that are operating in Canada. But in the UK and the United States, they don't, because the people go to jail. 
these politicians need to go after the scammers. Number 12 asks everyone how many bodies makes a female run through. I say anywhere between maybe 3 or 4, and the ability to bond drops 80 to 90 percent. But I think it's more than one or two if you want to be able to connect with somebody. Plus that doesn't mean that you don't need some sort of leverage in the relationship to keep her from straying. If she's had more than five, that's the alarm. And if it's over ten, then you need to run for your life. Moving on, another popular one this week is the difference between what people think sexual liberation means versus what it actually means. In reality, what people think it means is what actually men think it means. Women know exactly what sexual liberation gave them. They want men to think it means what's on the left, but cover up the fact that reality is on the right. Someone corrected me and pointed out that the reality is a lot worse with this updated graphic. Number 14 is a woman with a boyfriend that's propositioning his friend. But the guy does the respectful thing and calls his friend to tell him that his girlfriend is trying to cheat on him. I've had friends' girlfriends approach me like that before, but I just kept my mouth shut. Because then my friend might accuse me of hitting on her first. But if she messages you first, then odds are you're in the clear. But still proceed with caution. Number 15 is a little bit misleading. A woman not complimenting an above average man that she's probably into while complimenting a fat black woman like she's the queen and goddess of the world. But you know what this is really about? She's pumping up the ego of the woman because she's trying to sabotage her so she doesn't lose all that weight and eliminate the competition. It wouldn't surprise me if skinny women were the ones promoting fat acceptance culture the most. Moving on, we have a woman posting how her and her man are in their 21st week of pregnancy and they know the baby sex. The second post two years later is of her talking about being a single mom, and she clearly doesn't have that pregnancy glow no more. Laugh all you want, but if you're a working man, you're probably working to pay for her offspring. Once you go black and become a single mother, we don't want you back. Number 17, we have a sad story of a woman's husband coming out as gay after 21 years. Odds are that after years of tormenting him, she finally managed to turn him. Maybe he's just making all this up to get back at her. In all honesty, for many men getting out of a relationship, this might be a winning strategy. Because then he's automatically the victim as most gay men are these days. Greater than female victims. Up next is a short video showing us that guys 18 to 25 are going their own way from society. Check this out. I have talked to more moms this week about their sons who are either smoking pot and or don't have a job failed out of school, have no purpose or direction in life, and the parents are absolutely beside themselves. Not only that, but on the group call Tuesday night with the Empowered Moms group, there were five moms on the call with the same set of circumstances. Are you experiencing this as a parent? We have got to find a way to move these young men forward. The point is, if men don't want to move forward, then there goes Granny's pension. Odds are she won't even have any grandkids. Number 19, we have a brother-sister duo that makes 2 million pounds a year off of lonely fans. They film each other's saucy content to save on business expenses. They should convince their mom and dad, who are proud of them, to also start lonely fans pages too. Then you could watch the whole family get off together. So long as the brother and sister don't produce kids, I think that everything will be alright. Do you think he's gay or do you think they're getting it on? Moving on, we have Megan illustrating... What it's like for a 26-year-old woman to go on their 87 third date of the year. Because men act like they're 12 years old forever. Translation, guys probably get sex from such a woman quickly and can't stand her personality so they leave only after two or three dates. Or they dump her because they're chads and they're playing such women. Remember that's 261 dates in just one year. All that and such a woman can't even lock down a man. Red flag, red flag. Up next, we have a 35-year-old virgin saying that men ghost her when she tells them that she's a 35-year-old virgin. Maybe she means virgin since changing her hair to purple. But we know that most men don't like liars, so I can understand why they can't be involved with her. I don't think it's her virginity, but her appearance. Also, is she trans? We also have Destiny Etico claiming to be a virgin at the age of 33. Number 23 is that hypothetical ectolife company they created CGI ads for their artificial womb, which doesn't actually exist. People were talking about it as if it were a real thing. It's disturbing how gullible most people are these days. But once this happens, men will clone themselves and women will be over. Moving on, we have something that I've been saying for quite some time now. And that's what was considered a freak 120 years ago, i.e. morbid obesity, women with beards and guys completely covered in tattoos, is just Tuesday today. Today there are too many performers and not enough circuses 
and someone that's a bearded lady obese and covered in tattoos isn't just a clown anymore, but they're the whole circus. Number 25 this week's last one is Amber Heard looking like she's shocked to lose her case when she was clearly the abuser, and then demands to be made whole because she's a wayman. Apparently she's broke now, and also single mother. And it looks like Holly Weird won't even hire anymore. Oh, happy day. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Remember, I make these for free, so donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below for more content like this. Also, check out MGTOW TV for content you can't get anywhere else. You're definitely going to enjoy it. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.